Okay, so let's solve this problem. So insert geometric means in its geometric sequence. So on this geometric sequence, we're looking for the value of a sub 1, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So since this one is a geometric sequence, so first, we need to find the common ratio, that's R. So using this formula for the geometric sequence, then to solve for R in the given, we assume that this 24 is our A sub 1, then followed by A sub 2, A sub 3, and the last term, that's A sub 4, which is equal to A sub n. Then substitute now the values, so from this formula, so A sub n, that's the last term, that's 3 over 64, then equals A sub 1, so we assume that 24 is equal to A sub 1, then R, this one is the common ratio, then for N, since A sub 4 is equal to A sub N, so therefore N is equal to 4, then minus 1. Then simplify, so divide both sides by 24, so divide by 24, so this one is cancel. So this 3 over 64 divide by 24, so we can rewrite this one as 3 over 64 times the reciprocal of this 24 over 1, that's 1 over 24, then equals r 4 minus 1 so to the power 3 then simplify so this 3 times 1 that's 3 then over 64 times 24 so 64 times 24 equals that's 1536 so 1500 36 then equals r to the power 3 then since this 3 over 1536 divisible by 3 so therefore this 3 divided by 3 that's 1 then over this 1536 divided by 3 so 1536 divided by 3 that's 512, so 1 over 512 then equals R to the power 3. Then to solve for the common ratio, so we need to take the cube root, and both sides take the cube root, so cancel. Since we can rewrite this one as the cube root of 1 over the cube root of 5, 1, 2, then equals R. So therefore, R is equal to the cube root of 1, that's 1, then over the cube root of 5, 1, 2. So to find the cube root of this 5, 1, 2, so we have this 3, shift, then this function, that's cube root of 5, 1, 2 equals that's 8. So therefore, the common ratio is 1 over 8. So to solve now for a sub 1, a sub 3, and a sub 4, so since the given is a sub 2, so to solve for a sub 1 using this a sub 2, that's a sub 2 over the common ratio. Then substitute now the value. So a sub 2 is 24 over the common ratio. That's 1 over 8. Then equals, so we can rewrite this one as 24 times the reciprocal of 1 over 8. That's 8 over 1. Then simplify, so 24 times 8, 
So we have 24 times 8 equals that's 192. So A sub 1, that's 192. Then for A sub 3, so using this A sub 2, so that's A sub 2 times the common ratio. So we have now A sub 2 is 24 times the common ratio, that's 1 over 8. So therefore, this becomes 24 over 8, then simplify. So 24 divided by 8, so we have 24 divided by 8 equals, that's positive 3. So A sub 3 is equal to positive 3. Then for A sub 4, so using A sub 3, so that's A sub 3 times the common ratio. Then substitute now the value, so A sub 3, that's 3, times the common ratio, that's 1 over 8. Then simplify, so this one, 3 times 1, that's 3, then over 8. So therefore, A sub 4 is equal to 3 over 8. So these are now the unknown values. A sub 1, that's 192. A sub 3, that's 3. And A sub 4, that's 3 over 8.